Hello. And do you see the stream too? Nice. Let's get started then. Um, I do believe we are live at the moment. We don't have anybody here because we're just, you know, getting started. But hey, we're gonna we're gonna practice this and make it work, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So the purpose for this stream, let me pull out my notes a little bit, is we wanted to start working on a project and we want to do it in a method uh, that you kind of brought up a little earlier, which is coding in the open where we're basically, we wanna go through the process of creating a software, but we also wanna be, um, use it to create content and, and make, it, uh, make it so that we can interact with the community while we do it. Um, anyway, do you have any, you wanna share with us a little bit more about that and, and such? Yeah, so I heard about build in public, hashtag build in public on Twitter, YouTube, et cetera, a few years back. And I love it because um, I love quality content. I love watching people do things that I'm interested in doing. And I figured, you know, if people share this kind of information, they can help each other to get better at their craft. Mm -hmm. And the thing about building in public, there's a lot of advantages to it. But one of them is simply by teaching people how to do something, you learn how to master it yourself. And by mastering it yourself, you become somewhat of a teacher. So mm -hmm. I think that the philosophy of sharing with others as you go through things and conquer challenges and figure things out as you go through it, giving them free advice and just kind of sharing what you've learned, uh, that kind of, that's a rising tide that lifts all boats and it helps you as well, helps you build an audience there's just a lot of advantages to it. And I love being generous with information. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, one thing that uh, probably, I, I know that at least on the internet, I'm fairly well unknown, right? And I think you're, uh, you know, you're known by those who know you, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can you can just say you're a nobody. I, that's I, right. I'll take that. <laughs> So I wanted to go through and and talk a little bit about us and our background, and then after that, then let's get into you know the project that we're trying to accomplish and and where we're going. So if you want to kick it off first, let's um, tell me a little bit about you, who you are, and um, why you know yeah, tell me about it. So my name is Giovanni. I grew up in tech. Um, I started working at 14 years old which I have to remind people is actually legal in certain states for certain amounts <laughs> of time. Uh -huh. um, my dad just got me like an entry level data entry job. And I was privileged to have that at the very beginning so I could learn a lot. Um, and then, you know, it was supposed to be a summer job. I continued finding uses for myself and I had already dabbled in computer programming. At that point, I would just sit down with uh, big manuals on how to write code in JavaScript, Python, C Sharp. And so I was just experimenting a lot with computers and I knew how to do a lot of random stuff. So I became a very useful assistant at the company. Um, fast forward three, four years, I started doing marketing as well. And I switched positions in the department um, in the company. So I ended up spending about a decade at that company while also going through school, getting a BA in marketing and doing my own entrepreneurial pursuits. And I learned a lot from doing all that stuff. I did some freelancing as well. And eventually I decided to quit my full-time job to do consulting full-time. So I currently do operations consulting. I help people set up integrations, automations, be efficient basically. And I've kind of married my marketing side with my tech side. And I really intersect between those two things. So that's what I'm interested in doing. And that's how I came up with the initial idea for this. Um, and that's why I'm pursuing it. Cool. Well, let me, um, I'll jump into talking a little about myself and then we'll get into what we're trying to accomplish. So um, I have always been interested in technology. And, um, you know, I remember there's a, 
a story of my, my dad, you know, my dad was privileged to be able to have computers pretty early on and um, when they really didn't do very much. I remember what my the first game that I played was the the 221B Baker Street on uh, the, the five and a half inch floppy and it took like three or four floppies to play this text based game. And so I was, you know, it was a lot of fun back then. But uh, one of the things that I did, much to my, my dad's chagrin, is I, I took apart the computers. <laughs> and I tried putting it back together. And, and my parents were good natured and helped me to just uh, explore and, and be creative and, um, and things like that. So I've, uh, I've been into computers quite a bit, uh, f- you know, since a very, very early age. But uh, I was going to go into uh, engineering, you know, mechanical engineering, and I wanted to be like my grandfather, who was a major in the Air Force. Um, But after a while, after talking to my parents and a few other people, they're like, you probably should just go into computers because you're you're really good at that. And so I I did. I went into computer science and I got a bachelor's um, in computer science and graduated in 2016. And um, since then, I, I've just been doing uh, projects and um, I've, I've run my own company for, for, for that time. Uh, since, since about when I graduated, I, I, I had always done uh, websites for people and, and brought, uh, you know, brought them in and, and had built things for them and uh, started to do uh, YouTube a little bit. And uh, that's where I met Giovanni. Is, um, he saw one of my YouTube videos and reached out and said hey like let's work together a little bit and you know so far it's been you know a great opportunity to work together with giovanni so uh i yeah that's that's basically what i do is i i do software development i do um yeah, software development with you know front end with wordpress i do i do wordpress plugins but also node apps and other um just just basically software development things so yeah that's kind of kind of where where I come from and uh, you know the other day Giovanni said hey uh, I have this idea what do you think of it so anyway t- tell us about your idea Giovanni and where and and let's go from there yeah so I work with a lot of clients who are not really technically inclined and through the process of helping people automate stuff I've realized that there's a lot of things that they decide not to automate or they think can't be automated because there's a human decision that needs to be made at some point. And uh, this is, is very common. You can automate a lot of processes, but eventually someone has to decide something at some point down the line. And that's where people just decide, you know, it's not worth automating that part. Um, so yeah, it's very possible to have human input into an automation, but the thing is there's no specific way to do it. You just sort of hobble together some tools and make it happen. So for example, uh, I automated a system for a client who wanted to have people nominated for their membership. And then she wanted to send an email out automatically to anyone who's nominated to invite them. But the thing is, she wanted to first vet the people who were being nominated and make sure that the data was entered correctly. And so I set up a Airtable approval flow where someone would fill out a form, it would fill it in into an Airtable base, and then it would send an email notification to the client to check the Airtable base, change a status to approved when she's ready, and that would kick off the email. So that's a combination of automation plus human input to decide. Uh, But the thing is, Airtable isn't always the best interface for clients. It would be nicer if she could get all the information in the email and click a link and have that happen um, and not have to go into Airtable at all. And it would be nice if I could do this at scale and set up all kinds of these flows without having to set up Airtable or in some cases I've even created custom bubble apps just for someone to review a list of things and decide on them. Uh, So that's where my idea came in. The idea is to create an approval flow tool that allows you to simply decide what is the information that needs to go out, who needs to receive that information, and who needs to decide. Um, So just give an email address. And then what are the actions that they can take and what should those actions do? 
And the idea is to be able to plug it in directly into your current automation infrastructure, which you know, you're probably using Zapier or N8N or something like that, or make slash Integromat. And so I thought, you know, at, at the very basic level, it could just be a bunch of web hooks, a web hook to start the flow, which would then send the email to the correct person. When that person chooses one of several possible buttons, that would kick off a certain web hook that then continues the automation or stops it there or whatever it is. Uh, so that's kind of the basic idea I came up with. Yeah, that's awesome. So in, um, with, and so then I came in and uh, he uh, Giovanni wanted to you know try doing this in say bubble and so I I felt like maybe it would be a better fit for really just a more of a, a SaaS product where we do it with you know React on the front end, uh, we do you know Express API on the back end, and then we can handle all the web hooks internally, and it can all be one one product. So that's kind of where we are looking to go with it. We want to make a React application um, that has a, you know login capability that would then has you know also a dashboard that you would be able to log in if you wanted to. You could log in and you could see here's a list of the different um, requests that have yet to be approved or you know the what is the history been of the requests that you have already approved some of those kind of pieces and um, so that, that's really kind of where we're, where we're going with it um, we, from the community we would love to uh, hear some ideas some things that you may be interested in um, having in a tool like that if, if it's something that you're interested in uh, what what are some of the things that you would be interested in seeing? And so we have we have a form that you can fill out and give some some background information and some ideas that you might be interested in. Um, do you have anything else to say on that, Giovanni? Yeah, um, we want to we want to build it if there's demand for it. Obviously, um, I know as an automator that there isn't something specifically built for this. There's some stuff around the idea of human approval and like human automation, uh, but they tend to be all in, all in one platforms that are meant to basically replace Zapier. Mm -hmm. And I want somebody that can plug in to the winners in the space rather than having you go off and create a new, <laughs> new like Zapier. There's really no point in doing that now. Um, so it'd be nice to have it connected. So I'm just curious to find out what are the kind of scenarios that people would solve for with this and what are the features that would make that possible for them. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So one of the things about this is like we said in the beginning, we want to do this um, really in an iterative fashion in, you know, kind of a, a weekly update or, you know, you know, live streams that are, you know, sitting down and doing some code on a live stream and things like that. So, um, I think we're going to come back uh, again in in about a week and see if uh, see where we're at and see what what changes have been made and and, and things like that. Um, so that's really all that I have for for this this segment. Uh, do you have anything else you want to you want to add before we we close this segment up or? Uh, I think Started might... on. What? Am I muted? You were muted for a second. No. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, I thought we could share a little bit about what we've started with and the first challenges that we okay. faced. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah. So <laughs> one of the, the first things that we did is like talked. So John and I haven't met officially in person. Um, we have a online only uh, relationship <laughs> working together and we've worked together for three or four months, but at the end of the day, we don't know each other well. Right. And so one of the first things we talked about is what would this look like to work together on this? And uh, we had a really good conversation about that and what are the possible ways that we could structure the company. And uh, that's still kind of up in the air, but we have a basic plan in place, which is get some feedback from the community, figure out what is the thing that we need to build as a minimum viable product. And then John is going to build that minimum viable product. We're going to test it out, see how it goes. And if there seems to be something there, if the idea has some merit, and there seems to be a product market fit, then we'll try to build a beta, bring some people in, and then go from there um, and incorporate official company and everything like that. But you know, one of the first things 
to do, one of the first challenges is talking to people, figuring out what people want, and honestly, getting people to care. <laughs> um, you know, it's easy to get excited about an idea and go out and say, hey, we're starting this thing. I want feedback. And then you realize that nobody really cares until you make them care. Mm -hmm. And so one of the first challenges is how do you get people to care about something that's like an idea, maybe a thing, probably not a thing, <laughs> you know, it's sort of in that amorphous shape. I have no UI to show off. I have no demo to show off. Um, and so some thoughts on that. One of the first things I'm thinking about is, okay, instead of saying, I have an idea, can you help me validate it? I want to share some of the scenarios that I could help solve because then I'm coming at it from a, hey, I, I can help you solve this problem that you've probably faced before angle. Right. And then the second thing is, you know, what if we create a simple mock-up with sketch or something like that, where you can quote unquote test it out without actually testing it out, or even just see something, see something physical, some UI that would help explain what this really is. Because right now it's just words on a screen and it's hard to get people to care. Um, so that's kind of what we're thinking with the, the first challenge here. Yeah. Anything from you on that? No, I think it, yeah, it, it it's you know it's important to to be able to kind of conceptualize it, and even for us, you know, doing you know doing the the work of creating the what it should look like helps us to you know form opinions and things about you know moving forward on it. So yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for suggesting this idea to have a live stream. Yeah, no, I think it's been fun. And, you know, like I, I said, I said to Giovanni a little earlier, you know, it's going to be really fun to, uh, you know, this is the first live stream I've ever done. So I, I was like, you know, this is going to be great to, to get three or four live streams down and be able to compare, you know, how, how good we got in five or six live streams to the very first one. Right. So there's quite a few pieces to it and, you know, it's, it's been good so far. So. And then we need to decide on the uh, the follow notification sound and, <laughs> you know, what are we going to say? What are we going to call our followers? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so anyway, that's um, that's great. Yeah, I'm excited to, you know, be a part of, uh, you know, creating something new. And, um, yeah, that's, that's really all I have. Where can people find the form? I'm thinking uh, wherever we post this, we'll also include a link to that. Yeah. So, so uh, in the description of the live stream here, we'll have a, a link to the form that uh, you can fill out to give us some feedback about if you'd be interested in, in this type of a, a piece. So, okay. Okay. Well, um, thanks Giovanni. It's great to see you as always. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks.